from Hollywood, almost live, it's the Gong Show. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's your host and the star of our show, the totally lovable and kissable and huggable Mr. Chuck Berry. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to the Gong Show. We have a lot of great acts waiting to be seen on TV, coast to coast. So let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, after you see this first act, you'll see the possibilities in show business. For them are limitless. Today, the Gong Show. Tomorrow, who knows? Maybe a spot on Dial a Prayer. Here they are, from Rochester, New York, Los Nones. Our celebrities welcome a man who is so talented I can hardly put it down on cards I don't know what to say he is one of my favorite songwriters of all time mr. Paul Williams here's a lovely lady and the authoress of the controversial bestseller is there sex after root canal I always I always say those things but I love JP Morgan What do you think of Los Nones? Este hombre, este señorita, estamos de los fatos. Óyeme, para nosotros, un diez, ¿eh? Muchas gracias, muchas gracias. And Jay, what do you think of Los Nones? They just have... Hey, hey, Rice Krispies, Rice Krispies. All right, and now we have one of baseball's cleanest cuttest players. As a matter of fact, he's so cleanest cuttest that during the seventh inning stretch, he runs to the locker room and watches Sesame Street. Say hello to Steve Garvey. But they sent us a lot of natural gas, so I gave him a 10. That's a lot of Los Nones. All right. Are you ready for something really unique and clever? Well, if you are, after today's show, we'll be demonstrating the predominantly lost art of going over Niagara Falls in a whoopee cushion. In the meantime, here is the predominantly lost 
Oh, yeah. I see. All right, David Lusher. <laughs> J.P. Morgan, what, what, what do you do for, J, uh, for David Lusher? <laughs> I'll do nothing for him. <laughs> did you Leave me out of there. What, what did I think? He, I thought he yeah. was fabulous. I, and, and oh, you're out of your mind. <laughs> Look, do it. <laughs> what, what do you give David? What do you give Look, David? leave me alone. I want to give him a 10. A 10. Oh, God. Good God. Okay, if it wasn't for that last thigh slap, I couldn't have scored him at all, but I gave him a 5. A 5 for a little five. thigh. He's Paul Williams. Lena Tuba, are you ready for this, America? <laughs> tuba or not Tuba? Get off. Three. That gives David 18 points. That's his second win. That's a nice score. Good old David played his little heart out for an 18. Right now, we have a lady who says when she's not performing, she likes to paint with her fingers. Uh -oh. She's recently considered giving it up because it's taken her over a year to paint her bathroom. <laughs> All right. Welcome the slightly confused Eva, Eve Van Delft. Yesterday. I don't know why they did that. I love your, your singing. Thank you. But then again, I like Novocaine shots. Why did you do that, Steve Garvey? Yeah, I'm why? speechless, Chuck. You made I, him I'm speechless. speechless. At least I that's some sort of an emotion to arouse in someone. Thank you for being on our show. Do take care of the little... Thank you. We'll be back with more stuff right after this message. juggler that was originally scheduled to appear in this spot suddenly took ill and had to cancel. But we're happy to report that they were able to successfully extinguish the flaming baton stuck in his left nostril. In any case, the show must go on. So will you welcome, <laughs> welcome Rob Faberman. Treatment. 
then lend me your ears. I've come to bury Caesar, not to praise him. The evil that men do lives after them. The good is often teared with their bones. So let it be with Caesar. The noble Brutus has told you Caesar was ambitious. If it were so, it were a grievous fault. And grievously hath Caesar answered it here under leave of Brutus and the rest. For Brutus was an honorable man. Caesar hath brought many captives home to Rome, whose ransoms did the general coffers fill. When the poor have cried, Caesar hath wept. Was this ambition? No! Yet Brutus says he was ambitious, and Brutus is an honorable man. I, I come not to disprove what Brutus spoke. I am here to speak what I do know. You all did love him once, not without cause. What cause withholds you then to mourn for him? Oh, judgment, thou art fled to brutish beasts. Not only was he inspiring, he was perspiring. We'll give him a nine. A nine. Paul Williams. Paul Williams. Yeah. Oh, pardon me, thou bleeding piece of earth that I am meek and been gentle with this gong show. What do you give? I don't wow, have to wow. give you a score. I don't have a score at the moment. Give me a moment, dear. <laughs> For heaven's sakes, I've got to give him... Oh, look at those legs. I don't give him anything. I give him a zero. A zero. J.P. Morgan. You need to cross your heart, bra, and I give you a nine. A nine. And that gives you 18 points, Rob. And you can take a large job. Ah, good old Rob. How to Yes. Next up, we have a 24-year-old lady who makes her living as a cashier. And who in just a few moments is going to come out here and try to shortchange us. From Akron, Ohio, it's none other. Oh, oh, she sings. Ladies and gentlemen, Ramona McWhirter. You have no right to treat me the way you do. a friend and to meet me at the same place we fell in love before so we can fall in love all over again you walked away man now find your way back into my world let me take you back Ramona McGuire. 
I beg your pardon? <laughs> oh, I gave her a ten, of course. Don't be silly. Oh, uh, ten. That's a good score. Another ten and a nine. And that gives Ramona 29 points, Ramona. And that's a good score. And thank you for being on our show. Ah, I like Ramona. We'll be back for more stuff. Ready for this We have a former firefighter who, when you see his act, will make us all positive. He's hailed, inhaled, too much smoke from Salt Lake City, Utah. I gladly give you Chuck Wyckoff. <laughs> A Viking longboat, shields gleaming in the morning sun. It's Captain Eric the Red, setting out to discover America, but he can't get out of the harbor because somebody won't pull in his oars. As we listen, we can hear Eric. Come on, you guys. Vikings are free rovers of the sea. We pull together and we share together. Still no luck. So he calls down to this huge Viking with the fur rug for a chest, horns sticking out of his helmet. Hey, Nordic, I think it's down on your end. Aye, Captain, it's that guy we got off the turkey slave ship. Well, bring him on up here. Sailor, we're Vikings of free rovers of the sea. We pull together and we share together. Now, what seems to be your problem? He says, when are you going to whip us? Because I've been aboard six hours and not even a feeble flogging. The Vikings don't whip their men. Could you give me a switch or something to get me started? All those perks that used to just oil our bodies down and play out of us. So he says... You got gong, Chuck. You got gang gong. How come you did that, J.P. Morgan, and the rest of you? He was gong with the wind, believe gong me. With gong with the wind. wind. I, I, I right gonged his suit. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye, Chuck. Welcome now, a 19-year-old from Jackson, Mississippi. Oh, I like this guy. He came down and he tried... Well, anyway, his hobby is trying to put models together. But every time he gets near one, he gets his face slapped. I want to tell you, this guy came down twice, and we, we, you know, he tried and tried, and he kept asking him, come on the show, and I couldn't resist. Ladies and gentlemen, William J. Fortenbury. They gonged you. I don't know why they did that. I kind of liked it. Well, I guess I do. Well, anyway, Will, thanks for doing the show. It was a pleasure. We'll be back. We're stuck. Right up here. The winners are Los Nunes.